Get in, loser. We're going to the internet. Good evening, everybody. I am DadBod. Tonight, we are starting a new series titled Sib by Beefy Uncle. This is Chapter 1, Sib's Crane. Uh, now, obviously, before we get into gameplay, we're going to dig into what makes this map unique. If you want to skip past all of that and just get right to the gameplay, boom, right there is the timestamp to get you there. Uh, but if you want to see what this is all about, stay tuned. All right, spoiler warning is coming off. As we can see here, 571 total deaths. So the death count was quite a bit higher than that. I did a first playthrough. Normally I stream all this on my Discord server, so if you're not a member already, that is linked in the description below. We live stream a whole bunch. Anytime I do recordings, we uh, we record in there, have a good, uh, uh, good chat going all the time. Uh, but the first playthrough was probably around 400 deaths, and about 250 of the deaths here came from the very last part of this video, which uh, we'll be talking about right now. 32 out of 30 strawberries. I didn't get the gold strawberry, but someone was giving me crap about it, so I opened the console and just gave golden, just so I could see 32 out of 30 and shut them up. Um, but the 31st berry, so technically I got 31 out of 30 berries, the 31 was uh, actually a moon berry, and it took us a while to figure out like how to get this, but we finally figured it out. And that part is um, is actually at the end of the video. So if you want to see that, uh, stay tuned for that. I posted it at the very, very end. Uh, so I figured we'd dig deep into this before we got started with the video to show off like what makes this mod really unique. So let's get it going. Yeah, so this mod, <laughs> this mod uses the moving electricity and it's used in ways that I'm not used to seeing. It's pretty darn cool. The map is also really big. Let me show you in the... Um, in debug and why it's called Sib's Crane. Well, and that looks really cool. Um, so it utilizes a lot of like moving electricity. And one of my favorite rooms, this took me actually a while to figure out, but um, just the way you have to move throughout this is like, is really crazy. I love it. No, well, you're gonna see me beat it anyways in the video. Moving on. The other really cool thing that we see in this mod is just like the glitch blocks showing up in different places. So as soon as we start moving in, like they'll either help you or try to destroy you at any given time. So for example, we see the, the like pink square like patterns on the wall. There's three of them here. As soon as we get close, if you don't go quick enough, then you're dead. So there's a lot that you have to do. Damn. So there's a lot that you have to do to move quickly through this, or you're going to have a hard time. Uh, it gets pretty crazy. There's also areas like this where there's just electric mazes. <laughs> Ooh, crap, crap. Nah, I'm dead. Hmm. So you gotta go quick. You gotta go very quick. Um, but as we can see, yeah, this this map is actually a pretty pretty darn good size for uh, what it is. All right, the other really cool thing that I. Uh, I enjoyed about this was there was like a really crazy like underwater area with the same kind of uh, deal with these blocks and you had to go fast and be careful because there was just stuff coming out of everywhere um, so if I don't know like the it, it a lot of this like threw me off some of you got to go like really really fast and you got to be careful or yeah stuff like that's gonna happen this is also really cool too so um, in a lot of these it's this was kind of a pain in the butt in the beginning to kind of figure out like okay like what is gonna happen because I see the little uh, like shining piece there which means that there's gonna be a glitch block but how do I interact with it um, so there was just a lot of trial and error at the end once it's all done like yeah it's sweet
Like, so that's that's pretty cool. When you're trying to learn, um, it's like guaranteed deaths, though. Like, 100% you're guaranteed to die a whole bunch just because you can't see, even with the watchtower that's provided, you can't see what's going on. Not at all. Dude, and this music hits so hard. This is, like, really, really good. I'm gonna leave a link for the the music. Beefy Uncle has the SoundCloud link in the, on the actual Game Banana page, but I'll also link it in the description below. All right, and as we can see here, there is a uh, little area with the Moonberry, but um, there's not really a good way of doing it. We had to figure this out. It took us quite a while. Uh, there is a hidden key. I will show you in the video at the end where the hidden key is, so you can get this yourself if you're interested in getting it. Um, but before we get to the video, a couple other quick points. Obviously, um, huge, huge shout out to Beefy Uncle. Did a great job on this. Um, made all the music, and the music is really, really good. Um, I like that the most. The game design on this is pretty unique. I don't think you're going to see something like this uh, out there right now. And, you know, that, like I really appreciate it for that. Um, so it's really good. The gameplay is tight. There's some good challenges in here, which I really liked. Um, as far as the things I might change on this, there are, there are a couple pieces that are a little misleading, but you figure them out really quickly. And where a watchtower is to try to look forward, if you can't see where the blocks are going to be, like, that part kind of sucks, but, like I said, it was, you know, my last playthrough was a little over 500 deaths on a pretty big map. Wasn't too bad. Um, I don't think there's much real heavy criticism I can give this. When we first played um, the first, uh, uh, Beefy Uncle's first map, it was, uh, there were some things that definitely needed to change, and then when this came out, um, you could tell that Beefy Uncle definitely stepped it up and put a lot more into this, though Chapter 2 is still really well done, and we'll have that video hopefully coming soon. Um, and as far as the ugly, there's nothing ugly about this. Like, the, the gameplay was good, it was, there were some things that were pretty crazy. I guess the only thing that was ugly was the way you have to get this Moonberry was super ugly and there there's like no way that I feel like anyone would figure it out without uh, you know without using debug maybe I mean I guess the clock that's that's really the thing that brought us there but we had to go through and find everything again there's that old grandfather clock um, where you have to get the key is area where grandfather clock is that's it um that's pretty much all i got i know that was kind of drug on a little bit more than it had to but um just like i'm trying to think as i'm going and uh this was really well done i loved it i know you will too let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below as always if you enjoy the content hit that subscribe button till next time
All right, so let's dig into this Moonberry strat. There was a lot of things that, um, like, we just didn't know how to get to it. So if we look at the actual room, this is the room right here. Moonberry is here. So at first I'm thinking, like, okay, well, how do I get there? Because I'm not able to break through this. I couldn't find, I didn't see any other keys. And the one key that I needed was to progress through the game. There'd be no way that I could get through there. Um, so at first I saw like these empty spaces here and I thought, okay, how could I get there? Um, and I'm thinking maybe there's a way to drop through here because when we teleport, we can see um, like these areas of uh, spinner to the bottom, uh, bottom right that look like you could get through them somehow. And if you look up in the top right of the screen, there's like just an area it looks like you could almost demo through and I'm like okay are you really gonna make me do that and we tried that for a while and the answer was no not gonna make you do that um, so then we started searching for keys and while this is right here the key is all the way over here so when we're back and we fall through the little uh, electric chute and you gotta be careful of this because yeah, if you hit that, you're gonna die. So you gotta do it like while this is right here. Um, you know, when we look up here, it just ends right here. And when we open up the console, the it it doesn't show it, but there's actually there are platforms up here that we can get up to. Oops, I just broke the game. That has our key. And we can also see in the top corner, there's the clock. So how do we get there? Sweet. Um, and essentially, oops, it's going to respawn me right there. Essentially... How this room works is these shoot you up and it's probably the most jank thing that I've uh, I've seen in quite some time so <laughs> you'll see it in the video I'm about to play but what you need to do is activate this block and do like an extended hyper dash to grab onto the wall you don't have a lot of time to do it but if done properly, you'll grab the wall right there. And then it allows you to dash up without activating the other blocks. This, figuring this part out took me quite some time. Um, like quite some time. And then with this, you have to activate the other block. Um, and the way I did it was using a wave dash, dashing back and then jumping while that thing comes up. And if you are too low to the ground, it goes so fast that it just goes through Madeline. And that doesn't help. And you need that block to give you the extra momentum to push you up because that doesn't, they're just spikes and stuff there. So let's get into the video and that is gonna end it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. As always, if you enjoy the content, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a good night.